Welcome to Burn to Learn, everybody. Rod here to show you a second way to split information from a cell using functions of Excel 2016. If you missed part one, please be sure to watch that video right after this one. Let's say you're working in a bank and you have a lot of data on credit card account holders. However, you need a report showing just the type of card, the branch, and the expiration date of cards owned by your account holders. All of this information is in their account number. The first three letters is the type of card. The next four numbers identify the branch. And the last two numbers describe the expiration date. You could wait to receive a complete report containing this information or you could produce the information yourself using the functions we will show you right now. Let's start by obtaining the type of card, which is in the first three positions of the account number. First, write an equal sign, the word left, followed by an open parenthesis. Now select the cell where Excel will obtain the information, which is cell A4. Next, type a comma. Then write the number of characters you want to take from the left side of the account number, which in this case is three. Now type a close parenthesis and press enter. And you get the type of card in column B. Impressive, right? Imagine if you were working with thousands of account numbers. If this information is useful, please subscribe and receive our videos with useful information automatically. Now you need to obtain the branch, which is identified in the next four middle numbers. Here's how you do it. Write an equal sign, the word mid, followed by an open parenthesis. Now select the cell where Excel will find the information. Next, type a comma and then write the number four to tell Excel the position number where it needs to start. Now type another comma and write the number of characters Excel needs to consider, which is four. Now type a close parenthesis and press enter, and you get the branch identification in column C. Now it's time to get the expiration date, which is identified by the last two numbers of the account number. Here's how you do this. Write an equal sign, the word right, followed by an open parenthesis. Select the cell A4, where Excel will find the information. Next, type a comma. Then write the number of characters you want Excel to take from the right side of the account number, which will be the number two. Now type a close parenthesis and press enter. And there you have information on the expiration date in column D. You've learned two ways to split information in a cell. Part three with a third way is coming next. If you liked this video, please let us know, share it, and hit the like button. If you want to practice what you've learned, just hit the button below. And please subscribe so you can follow our channel. Remember, whenever you're on your electronic devices, you can burn to learn. Thanks for watching. We really like sharing useful information with you.